Well, what's up again there, guys? Brian here, the Three Topics Gamer, and I have a somewhat interesting top five list for you to share with you guys today on a very odd and bizarre topic. Because, strangely enough, look, as a gamer, I've played a lot of games over my life. However, there have certainly been a number of really, really popular franchises that, when I look at them from afar, their popularity confuses me and therefore kind of keeps me away from them. And why people seem to be drawn to certain games is kind of complexing. And I think that some of these games I will be mentioning on this list might surprise some of you guys. So that is why I want to take some of your guys' time, if you would please share it, and just go over five games, or technically it actually can go to five video game franchises, extremely popular franchises, that I'm sure some of you guys would be surprised I have never played any entry in any of these series. So, before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you happen to like this video, please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and press the subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this or would like to see content that I've done in the past because I think all of it is really, really awesome. Now, before I jump into this list, I already know there's going to be a bunch of people in the comment section that are going to want to call me out and say that this list is fake, it's complete bull, you had to have played one of these one of these franchises, you had to, I, I assure you, I have no, nothing to gain for lying. There's a, trust me, if, if this was based off of Xbox exclusive games, like, that'd be a very, very long list of games I haven't played. But I assure you, all of these games are completely authentic. I have never played any of them. In fact, I actually wouldn't mind using this video as a way for you guys to explain to me why you guys might like some of these franchises. So I've ranked these games in terms of, I believe, popularity and possible shock value. Some of these games on this list probably won't surprise you, but I think a few of them might actually do might do the job. So, starting off with number five on my list, I'm gonna go with a game that has really been getting people to go absolutely batshit insane and trying to get a, a Nintendo Switch for one of these things, and that is Animal Crossing. I don't get it. This is this is one of these games that I happen to watch on my friends play this on stream and I and I and I asked them it's like okay and everyone seems to really enjoy Animal Crossing but I don't really understand it so tell me this what is the story doesn't really have a story okay that's strike one okay what is the concept oh you know you go around you you know build houses and maybe you know grow some plants and some vegetables and maybe socialize with other people on their islands it's like okay but what are you doing it's like you know, just doing random stuff, so you're not really doing anything. Okay, um, when does the game end? Oh, it ends, you know, when you stop playing. So basically, it's a, so let me get this straight. Uh, this massively popular game that, is, that apparently has everyone going nuts over, has no story, your concept is piss poor, and the game has no ending until you practically get bored of it. A game like that would drive me crazy. I have, well, I have no idea why people like this stuff. Please, in the comment section, if you have picked up Animal Crossing and, the, and, and went out of your way to get a Nintendo Switch to get one of these, please tell me why. Because this is like one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. And I've seen people go absolutely nuts over this game. And apparently, Animal Crossing has been popular for some time. But just looking at it, I'm like... I'm con I'm shocked even grown men older than me are so into this game. It is just bizarre. So that is why it is ranked number five. I, I don't think it's too shocking because I I'm just not into those type of games. But I'm more surprised by how many people of just diff just different backgrounds than me are interested in this game, and I'm just puzzled why. So please let me know in the comments. Number four on my list is Fortnite. Now, Fortnite in in my in my opinion is a big enigma to me. And for those of you that don't know what an enigma is, it's another word for mystery. Uh, but it just, I mean, I play Apex, and it just looks like what this is, what Fortnite is, is a much goofier version of Apex, but instead of being a first-person shooter like Apex is, it's a third-person shooter. And it's just incredibly goofy. Now, Goofy can be good. I've played a lot of really great Goofy games, but not as, like, group shooters. I mean, I'm just kind of, I mean, I, 
it, it looks like a, it looks like a game that I could easily jump into, but it's not a game I feel like I would it would hold my attention. I think I might play like three rounds of this and then like think I completely wasted my time. So yeah, I still don't know why Fortnite is popular. I know it's really popular on Twitch and like they hold like tournaments for it, which I find even more confusing. Um, but, yeah, I, I, when, it, when it comes to games like that, where it's, like, group engagements, I like to stick to, like, I, I, I honestly, I, I prefer them as first-person shooters, so I think that's, like, the primary reason I never really got into Fortnite. I've heard it's free, so, I mean, it's something that I, I could have jumped into, but I just don't see myself ever doing it, but, yeah, Fortnite. Probably the most popular shooter that I probably will never ever play and never understand why so many people are so addicted to it. Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments like always. Going into number three. Now, I actually looked uh, at a top like a top ten best selling French uh, franchises and this was on there so I was surprised. And that is The Sims. I just am confused by the concept of playing a game in which to be blunt, you are God. You're God. I, I, I mean, you're, you're, you're building, depending on your setting, whether it's, you know, building cities or building a roller coaster or building a zoo. Nothing happens in this game unless you do something. It's about building things and then, like, micromanaging everything. Like, literally, nothing happens in this game unless you know about it. Now, I'm not against micromanaging in games. I'm actually really, really good at it in terms of, like, war strategy games like Total War or Warzone or, or, or games like that. That kind of micromanaging I can get into because I'm playing against the computer. But The Sims, you're not playing against anyone. You're just doing things. Now, I, I, I guess in a sense that the, the concept can be kind of addicting that you want to build your own community or you, you want to build your own setting and you want to do it your way. And if you want, you can tear it apart or you can do whatever that i can i can understand on, on some degree why some people might think that's entertaining but i kind of am the kind of person that if i'm micromanaging something i need to be up against someone whether it's another online player or against the computer itself and i don't think any version of the sims has ever done that i've I, i've had several family members who play computer games or, or play pc games tell me that they love the sims i've seen them play The Sims for several hours. I've watched it, but I've never had even the slightest interest of actually testing it out myself. I just, I'm just not into those type of games. It's just, just to be blunt. I mean, I'm sure some people enjoy them, but heck, I just, I'm just not into that. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes the real big ones. Number two is a game that has, it's, I don't even understand why it's so popular, and like a lot of people have been like hoping for like a third entry for this franchise to come out for some time, uh, but it's like kind of a really really old game, and it's like one of those games that you know unless you play this when it first come it comes out, I just have no interest of in going back and giving it a try, and that is Half Life. Half Life to me kind of seems like it was the Bioshock of its time. It was what Bioshock was for my generation, but for that generation. The problem is, is I don't understand why it was so popular when it only had two entries. And heck, uh, some of you guys not even, might not even remember this, but for those of, you that, for those of us who are old enough to remember the, the G4 channel, uh, the one thing that really sticks out to me is they had this show on there called Icons that would pretty much talk about all these different like uh, gaming, like topics throughout gaming history and they actually did have an episode talking about half-life and it just seemed that the development of half-life is much more interesting than the content of the game itself because even the story itself seems a little bit puzzling to me i don't really quite it's like it's i mean it's a shooter and you've got a character named gordon and he wears glasses and he's got this really weird orange suit and he never talks for some reason i mean this is just all I know in terms of basics, and I've seen plenty of, like, people play it, but it just always seemed just really confusing to me. And people are still talking about it, and yet they were talking about, oh, when's Half-Life 3 gonna come out? And, like, it's just, like, the one game that if they ever did do an HD remastering for it, I probably would keep away because there's just something about it that just kind of puts me off. It's like this has a lot of interesting ideas. I mean, it's got everything you need. I mean, it looks like... Gameplay-wise, it would be fun. Story-wise, if you actually understood it, it might be kind of 
intriguing but I just think for me too much time has passed for me to try to get on board this Half-Life train that seems to have been dead stopped for some time and who knows I mean people have been aching to, to get another entry I don't think we're gonna get one I think they just released like some sort of VR experience for Half-Life and that's like the first thing that they've released for it in like over a decade but yeah I I, I just don't understand why Half-Life is as popular as it is so yeah now, number one is probably going to shock a lot of people because, to me, this has everything that should easily draw me in. This has everything a game should have that would be, like, absolutely intriguing to me. But for whatever reason, for but I, I, I take that back. I know why I'm not interested in this. Uh, and that is Witcher. I have never played a Witcher game. The extent of my knowledge on the Witcher is the Netflix series and maybe a couple of game trailers. I went through the Netflix series and it was average at most and I still don't know what the hell a Witcher is. Um, I don't know what's going on. I mean, when I looked at this from afar, it looked like a poor man's version of Lord of the Rings with less quality, but like that might be a little bit too harsh. I mean, I don't mean to insult anyone who likes a Witcher. Uh, it's just... It, it it just looks goofy. I mean, there, there's good goofy, and then there's just, like, weird goofy. And The Witcher looks like weird goofy with just absolutely zero structure. And I know that there's a lot of people that think its story is fantastic, and it's got all these books that go with it. And I'm sure it, it's, like, it's, like, it's, it's like Game of Thrones. I have seen maybe a couple episodes of Game of Thrones, and yet I still couldn't quite get into it. It just... Something about it just wasn't working with me, and and I guess The Witcher has that same sort of same sort of vibe, like the characters just seem like there's something wrong with all of them that just keeps me away from them. And the combat system doesn't look too bad, but it's not something I would be too interested in. And the whole social structure and the story and the characters and the objectives. I mean, everything from an outsider's point of view should be interesting but for whatever reason this is this is like the witcher to me is like the greatest video game franchise that i should love and should want to be a fan of that i just for whatever reason just don't i'm just just allergic to anything witcher related in anything in any and what and and what little information i did learn from the show was like it didn't quite go in one ear and out the other like a lot of other franchises do but it just was like okay i'm trying to get in, intrigued in this franchise but um it just isn't really quite sparking with me like i would like and therefore I mean, heck, heck, if I had actually loved the Witcher Netflix series, I think if there was more to it, maybe I would have, I, I would be inspired to go and give the games a try. Um, but as it stands right now, probably not. And, and I can't see myself doing it into the future. So, yeah, number one's got to go with the Witcher. Now, before I do my closing, I would just like to say that if you liked any of these franchises, please do not take any of my comments too seriously. I am sure that some of you guys out there there are a bunch of franchises that you don't like or you're not interested or you've never played that I'm a big fan of and I would love for you to share franchises, popular franchises that you have never played or have no interest in trying them out. I'm sure you guys have some that I'm not interested in and I don't take any offense so please do not take anything I've said about any of these franchises too seriously because heck, I, I'm just not a fan but heck, if you love them, I absolutely respect them and I am jealous that you like them so much. I just, I wish I could understand why you love them so much. Maybe you could help me, help that, help me out with it in the comments down below. So with that, that is the end of my top five list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And like always, I want to thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. And I will see you next time.